If you've ever wondered how to get a custom email address that has your name at yourdomain.com instead of a default gmail.com email address, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to set that up. So to start, you wanna make sure that you have purchased a custom domain name. So if you haven't done that yet, I'm gonna link another video that is gonna be me walking you through purchasing a domain name through Namecheap, which is currently our go-to domain registrar. And once you have your custom domain, we're gonna head over to Google Workspace and set up our G Suite account. So I'm gonna to go to get started. And let's give our business a name. So I purchased a demo URL that is palmtreelogo.com. So I purchased a demo URL that is palmtreelogo.com. So I'm gonna add that in here, Palm Tree Logo. And then we would select how many different email addresses we need for this account. And since this is a tutorial, I'm just gonna set up one for now, but if you have a team or you want multiple email addresses, you can select that here. And I'm gonna hit next. And then we'll put in our contact information. And then once we've done that, we're gonna select which type of account we want to use. I don't wanna use a at gmail.com email address because I don't think that's as great for marketing and brand recognition as doing a custom URL. And I also already have my domain name, so I don't need to select get a new domain name. So I'm gonna select this one and then we'll hit continue. And then this is where I add my domain name in here. So palmtreelogo.com and next. We're gonna use this account to set it up and then I need to actually create an account login in order to log into my workspace. So if we click on this username right here, you can see that it pops in with our palmtreelogo.com. So this is where we would add what we want our actual email address to be. I'm gonna do hello at palmtreelogo.com and then I'll generate a password. And then on the next screen, we can toggle between different plans. It looks like it's recommending the business plan for me and I could also select it to pay annually or try for free for 14 days. I'm gonna do free for 14 days for right now. So on this next screen, I'll enter in all of my credit card details and my billing details. And then right now it has a prompt for me to add Gemini, which I am going to skip for now. So next it's asking us to verify that we actually own the domain name and then we'll be able to start using our new email address. So I'm gonna select where I purchased it. Actually, it already auto-populated it and we'll hit continue. So it's gonna give me a couple of different records that it wants me to add over on my domain registrar, which for me, for this URL is Namecheap. So I'm going to copy this one and I can see right here, it wants me to add this to the text record. So I'm gonna to go to Namecheap and I'm gonna click on manage my domain name. So in my DNS settings, I can see down here, I already have a text record set. So I'm gonna edit this one. If I click on it to edit, it asks me if I'm sure I wanna edit this. I'm gonna select yes. And then I'm gonna copy my value over from Google Workspace and paste it in here. So I'll click this little check mark. We'll give it a second and let that save. Then I'm gonna head back to Google Workspace and I can see that it's also giving me a C name record that I need to add. So I'm going to start by adding, by copying the host. So copy that host and then we'll come over here and C name records are gonna be done up here. So I'm just gonna add a new record and do this one and I'm gonna paste my host in and then I'm gonna come back here to Google Workspace. I'm going to copy the value for the C name record and then I'll paste this in the target and we'll leave this set at automatic. We'll save that and then I can head back to Google. And then once I've set those records, I can come back to Google Workspace and check this box and hit confirm. And it's gonna run through a little test and make sure that those domain names are actually correctly added. Once it's verified that the domain names are added, then I can activate my Gmail and I'm gonna click on continue. And then from here, I'll just continue to proceed with the activation. And now it looks like it wants me to go back to Namecheap and add one more record. So this is an MX record. I'm going to copy the value. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to my Namecheap and it looks like it wants me to change how this email is set up. So instead of doing email forwarding, I'm gonna do custom MX records. Then I'll grab this custom MX records from right here. So in this MX record, I'm gonna make the host an at sign just because it wouldn't let me save it with the default. I'm gonna add this smpt.google.com. My priority is one and then I'll hit save. So now that I've made that update, I'm gonna come back to my workspace and we will select that this was updated and I'll hit confirm. 
And so once it's run through that program, it's all set and I can enter my Google Workspace. So I am going to skip those tasks for now, skip those tasks for now. But once we've done that, it's gonna walk me through some more setup options. And then once my email is all set up, I'll be able to now access it at mail.google.com. All right, if you guys have any questions about this, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And if you like this video and you wanna see more helpful website tips, make sure that you hit like and subscribe on this channel. Thanks guys.